Hey, what's up, guys? Sully Guys 24. With a look at these potential bad boys right here. The Puma Mellow 1. Size 10 and a half. If you look at the tag, 10 and a half. Uh, red Blast, Fiery Red. And, uh, so yeah, you can see the crazy uh, galaxy theme here. Not from here. Kind of this, like, out of this world theme for the shoes. Like the galaxies on the box and the window to the shoes. It's, it's a pretty cool touch. And there's uh, Lamello's tattoo in the Puma sign. And I got one out already. And there you go. These bad boys are bright. They're definitely going to be bright on court. Going to really turn some heads, I feel like. So, anyway, I don't know a lot about the uh, the specs of this shoe. Haven't researched it a lot. But, uh, to me, it's shaped a lot like the Kyrie 1. And the traction pattern's a lot like some of the Kyrie's. So, getting into all that, let's see the traction here. You got the pretty durable rubber, it feels like. Like, kind of a... It's not super, um, super hard, but it's not super soft either, like some of the Kobe's that would break off. So, uh, I think it should be pretty good. The spiral traction should work well. And then you got this, uh, diamond shaped with some grooves in the back and more spiral shaped in the very back. So that's very Kyrie-esque, I feel. And then you got the rare there, sticking with the themes of the shoe. This kind of reminds me of the basketball net covering the midsole. And um, it's my understanding that it kind of fit like a Kyrie with more cushion. So that'll be nice. So if you like the way the Kyries play and you complain about the cushions, you should uh, like this shoe quite a bit. And so you kind of got this orangey and uh, darker orange, even though it says red. Um, colors there, which they kind of look orangey in this light coming through the camera, but as you can see, if you turn that off, it's definitely red. So you just kind of like a two-tone red. And then this kind of, well, I believe this is another tattoo of his as well, part of it. And you come up and you got the mesh. It's a synthetic type mesh fabric there. And on the toe, in this uh, synthetic type material here. So, um, keeps the shoe very light. Again, not from here, and the tattoo, and the one-to-one. -one. And then the inside is kind of, uh, just looks kind of cool to switching it up on the inside. So, yeah. Um, really don't know a lot about these. I can't wait to try them on to see what they feel like. Uh, definitely, I dig the the price point at 125, and I dig the color and the brightness. And um, <laughs> my boy uh, Nightwing on here, love his reviews, and he said they are going to be bad boys. So usually, what he says, I agree with, and so we will find out about all that. But till I get the hoop on with these, I love the court riders, so I can't wait to try these out and see how it goes. But uh. You guys let me know if you guys dig this shoe, what you guys think about Puma basketball. I dig it. Court Rider is a very good shoe. And uh, hopefully these do not disappoint. So me and my buddy was having a discussion at work as well. I said the Kobe line is the best performance basketball line that Nike ever did or I think anyone's ever done. And um, let, let me know your thoughts on that and what makes a line great because his argument was he'll never be jordan because jordan's resale prices are so high but i don't think a resale price makes a shoe great i think what makes a shoe great to me is it being comfortable and being able to perform on court and like the kobe's also look great off court and um that's what i dig about certain shoes and uh i think this is one of those shoes as well uh so yeah i think just performance and um just uh just you know being that go-to shoe that's what makes a great shoe to me um the jordan line is fantastic obviously and iconic there's no denying that kobe's line will never be more iconic but i do think it is a better line performance wise and maybe even style wise for on and off court so 
Very debatable, but you know, everyone's got their own things. I love the Kobe line. I love the Jordan line. I love some of the KDs. Uh, the Hardens were great, but they just didn't really hit off the court like, you know, certain Kobe's and stuff. And uh, anyway, kind of a little tinge there. Um, you guys let me know what you think about these shoes and what you guys think makes a great uh, sneaker in general. And so, uh, do you guys, you know, what, what's your favorite line? Uh, the KD, Kyrie, um, Kobe, whatever. Just, uh, you know, hit me up in the comments and let me know what you guys, how you guys feel about all that stuff. Um, till then, over and out, Soli Ghost 24.